another episode of Cooking at Home with Chef Jeff. Tonight we're going to be making a HelloFresh meal and it is roasted veggie caprese bowl with farro and balsamic vinaigrette. This is what it's supposed to look like. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it and see if it actually turns out that way. So let's get going. Now if you're new to HelloFresh, the thing that I like about it is they send you the, the meal that you're going to prepare with all fresh ingredients. They have it all there in the bag. You don't have to do any shopping. It just shows up on your doorstep and you get to make it from scratch. And this is what it has. It comes with the farro. It has zucchini, tomato, uh, Italian seasoning, almonds, onions, the mozzarella, uh, and the vinaigrette. It comes with the basil, tomato, and it's all ready to go. So like with any uh, HelloFresh meal, what you want to do is you want to preheat the oven and it's calling for us to preheat this at 450. So we'll turn this to 450. And it also says to start to boil some water for the farro. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to it along with the vegetable stock. Okay, here comes the second vegetable stock portion. Going on in and now we'll go ahead and add the farro. And then we're gonna let that cook for approximately 25 minutes. All right, so the directions say to uh, cut the zucchini up in, in uh, small, thin rounds, which I'm just finishing up here now. It also says to take the tomato that they provided and cut that up into six to eight wedges. And now I'm gonna half the onion, and we're gonna cut this into about half inch wedges as well. All right, now that we have the vegetables all cut up, we're going to take the mozzarella and we're gonna cut these, cut this into half inch squares or chunks. Now that we have this cut up, we wanted to, or I have already picked the basil leaves from the stem, and you wanna take about half of the basil leaves and you want to finally cut them up. And then the other half, we're going to just take those and we're just gonna tear those. So I'm gonna go ahead and finally uh, chop the basil leaves. All right, now uh, we're going to take uh, the onion wedges, we're gonna put them in this baking bowl that we have. If you don't have a baking bowl, you could take a piece of aluminum foil and you could create a bowl with the aluminum foil as you see pictured here. And now once we have the onions in, we're gonna take half of the vinegar that they provided for us, pour that in. And we will use the other half a little bit later on. We're going to take a drizzle of olive oil, put that in, and we'll season it with salt and pepper. And we're going to set that to the side and move on to the next step. All right, just for the video's sake and to speed things up, uh, what I've done is I've put the zucchini and the tomatoes on a baking sheet, and I've already drizzled uh, olive oil on it, seasoned with salt and pepper, and now I'm going to season the rest of it with uh, Italian seasoning. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, toss that all together as well. And you may see the pot of onions on the baking sheet. What we're going to do is we're going to put the baking sheet with the onions and the zucchini on the top rack. And we're going to uh, bake these for about 10 to 15 minutes until the onions and the vegetables become softened. All right, one thing I'm excited to do is I've never actually roasted almond before, but part of this recipe calls for roasting almonds. You just put them in a dry pot and you uh, just heat way over medium high heat and you just roast them, tossing them every once in a while for about three or four minutes until they become fragrant. All right, so in a second small bowl, you want to whisk together, whisk together the rest of your vinegar. You're gonna do a large drizzle of olive oil Season it with salt and pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and whisk it together really quickly. Now once this is complete, set this aside. And we're gonna take the remaining onions. I've already started to heat up a drizzle of oil in the pan that we were cooking the um, uh, uh, almonds in. And we will cook these until they become tender. 
All right, now that the onions are complete and the farro is cooked till it became tender, you want to drain off any excess water, which I've already done. You want to add in the onions. And in addition, we want to put in half of the mozzarella that we had cut up. We'll take half of this, put this in. And then we're going to take the finely chopped basil and add that to it, along with a teaspoon of butter. And we're going to mix this together and move on to the next step. All right, the timer's chilling off for the veggies. Let's pull these out, see how these are looking. Oh, oh yeah, how does that look? It looks fantastic, ready to be eaten, cooked to perfection. The onions are just slightly browned on the edges. And now, for the moment of truth, now we get to plate it. So we're gonna get a bowl. We're gonna take some of the farro mixture, put it in the bowl. And we will then top it with some of the roasted vegetables. There we go. Placing them just so nice. Remember, we're comparing it to the picture that we saw at the beginning of this video. And here are a few of the onions. Now we'll put some of the mozzarella cheese, some of the torn basil leaves, and then a few roasted almonds, and finally sprinkling it, or I'm not sprinkling it, uh, drizzle it with a little bit of the vinaigrette. There we go. So, my version. Hello, Fresh's version. How do they compare? 